putting God first can be difficult. What can we learn from Saul, who refused to put God first? Saul stood head and shoulders above other men and became the first king of Israel when he was 30 years old. Saul reigned for 42 years, and during this time, he did many things right. However, he constantly refused to follow God's instructions entirely, finding a different path, trying to improve on what God had said. Some of us are tempted to rationalize our own desires, providing internal explanations to why we follow our own plan when it comes to tithe and offerings. Putting God first was not easy for Saul, and it certainly is not easy for us. Saul continued this path until God rejected him as king. God stepped back from protecting Saul to the point that an evil spirit tormented him. God grants us the free will to reject him and his plans, but by so doing, we forfeit his blessings. Saul turned evil and spent much of his energy and resources pursuing his loyal servant, David. Even while trying to return to God later in life, he used the very methods forbidden by God, turning to necromancers. But God does not speak through spiritualism. By the way, no new revelation may be received if there is a neglect of what has already been revealed by God's prophets. When we refuse to put God first in the small things, eventually we will also go too far. Perhaps you have not been putting God first in your tithe and promise, or another area in your life. God is merciful, and if you confess it, He will always forgive you immediately. You can start putting Him first in your life today. Saul refused to put God first. The consequences were terrible for him and the people around him. God's love compels us to put His kingdom first, while Saul's example is a warning for us today.